A laminectomy is one of the most common surgeries done in spine surgery. Essentially what it is, is when the spine surgeon goes through the back part of the spine to remove either thickened bone, bone spurs, or thickened tissue to take the pressure or to decompress the nerve roots or the fecal sac. If this is the spine, walking in, laying down, this center area where all the nerves are running down is the fecal sac. That's what all the nerves run through. It has branches at every level, one on the left side, one on the right side, where the nerve roots come out. These get compressed either from the joints, being the facets, having arthritis and growing bone spurs and pinching these nerves, from a disc herniation, pinching these nerves, or from something called instability, where one bone slips forward on the other and pinches those nerves. Well, a laminectomy is a simple, if it's a one level it's or two level, usually an outpatient procedure where the spine surgeon will go into the back part of the spine. He or she will shave off the center part of the bone and they will get in there and they will remove the thickened tissue, the arthritic tissue, and it's a motion sparing non-fusion procedure that could be outpatient if it's one or two levels. And this helps take the pressure off the nerves. This helps cure the shooting down pain, the tingling, the numbness, and in severe cases, when the patient has weakness, this could re help return the strength. Now, it depends on the timeline on how long each of those things have been going on for in terms of the predictability of improvement. For my patients, I usually let them go home that day if it's a one or a two level surgery. In terms of physical therapy and rehab, I want them up and moving around that day. I want them walking around the block the day they get home, the next day they get home. I let them shower two days later. I let them drive, again, this varies, usually two to three weeks later. And again, this just varies by patient. In terms of doing formal physical therapy, well, that also varies. If it's just a one or two level laminectomy, the overwhelming majority of my patients do not require formal physical therapy after this type of procedure.